What's up, y'all? It's your girl, NYC Precious, and I'm back with another video. And y'all freaking loved that last hookah setup. Y'all said it was so simple and easy. So I decided to give y'all another hookah setup video. But this time, I wanted to include how to actually smoke the hookah because y'all was in the comments like, how do you smoke it? How do you inhale it? How do you get thick clouds? Ah, uh ah. -uh. So keep watching if you want to see how my hookah is busting like this. Enjoy. <laughs> First step you're gonna do is fill up your hookah container with water. This is where the pipe reaches at, right? So we need our water like right here above the pipe. We're gonna make sure this water is extremely, extremely cold for our smoke. And usually I would do half milk and then half water to that level where I showed you I need to stop. But today I'm just gonna do water because this is a tutorial and I know some people might not have milk in their house, but you can do half milk and half water for stronger clouds and everything. So this is where I ended up filling my water. If you guys go and buy this hookah, make sure y'all fill that water base like halfway. Because this is a larger hookah. It definitely needs more water to have that good pull. After we have our water and our hookah like this, you want to get your flavor. This is the flavor that I'm using. You know, so your hookah won't be so harsh. Make sure you put a nice amount of flavor because you definitely need a lot. So don't be stingy with your flavor. I add a lot of flavor to a paper towel, a dry normal paper towel. I'm gonna show you the amount. These should only be lasting on like two setups. Like if y'all have more than that, y'all not using enough flavor and it won't be busting like thick clouds, thick smoke. This is how much flavor I used. Now I'm just gonna squeeze all that extra juice out of it so I won't get a headache, get lightheaded. See? Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your dry flavor like this. You see how it looks even dry now? You wanna go ahead and add it to the like flavor part of the hookah. After you've added your dry flavor like this, fluff it out. If y'all have tongs, that's great. The tongs that you use the charcoal, that you use for the charcoal. But if you don't and you be in ghetto like me, then you could just use a fork and make it in a circle with the hole in the middle open just like that like so last and final step is heating it up the charcoal I, even though these are bad i prefer y'all get the square coconut charcoals but if you just last minute and you just go into the deli like i did that you could just get these you only need one for this one and now i'm gonna heat up this charcoal and let this sit and heat up after you first set your hookah up and you first add your charcoal let your hookah sit for about three minutes to actually heat it up and warm up so you won't just be smoking charcoal since my stove is kind of occupied right now i'm just gonna add my charcoal inside just gonna add my charcoal here this just stinks so bad that's why i'm like doing it like it stinks so bad we're not burning the charcoal, but light your charcoal. Make sure it turns red. Now I'm letting my hookah warm up to get hot. And I add my pipe in it because I cleaned my hookah before I made this video. That's why it's all apart. But I'm just going to add my pipe in. After this is heating up, we're going to see how it's pulling. But those are the steps you guys need to follow to set it up. And now I'm going to show you the steps to actually smoke the hookah. And that's all I got for y'all today. Hell breathing. Exhale, that's how you smoke this. You do that on this. You don't inhale it at all. You don't get high from it. People are asking, how do you get high? It's literally just something to do to kill time, you know? You can add weed in it to get you high, or you can add liquor in the bottom if you want to get, like, more intoxicated. But the way you smoke it, you don't inhale it. You just inhale and exhale. The longer you inhale, the more smoke you get. So the longer you go... The more is gonna come out when you go. It's not busting, busting right now, but y'all get the point.
Yes, that's how y'all hookah would be if y'all follow these steps. Never keep pulling your hookah back to back. Always take a break before you pull it so you won't get so lightheaded. But it should already be better from drying the flavor. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And comment if you need more hookah videos from your girl. Take us for money.